Hey, what's going on? It's your favorite host, Bruce Jordan, with another episode of Hotel Revenue Magic. Today, we're going to be talking about listing photos, when, where, and how we're going to use them on the OTA sites and the review pages. Now, with listing photos, it's you're really trying to figure out what you want to do, how you want to do it, and what's the best way to do it. And the best way to do that is knowing what you're looking for. And the way we start off is knowing who you are and what you mean to the market. Now let's get into it. So let's start off with your lead picture. If you're a name brand franchise, your hotel has pretty much figured out um, what it means to the customer. Like some, like a Howard Johnson means something different to a guest versus a JW Marriott. So if you're a strong name brand, I would lead with a picture of the front of the hotel because the guest already has an idea what to expect from that hotel room um, or from that hotel brand. But if you are a non-branded hotel or a hotel that's of a weaker brand, then uh, the guest pretty much has no idea what your rooms look like or anything else about the hotel. Therefore, the first picture should you should, should have should be of the hotel room to show the guests what to expect when they get there. Now, if if your rooms does not look as good as the pictures that you have on the outside, then of course I would go with the the uh, the picture of the the front of the hotel. Now, someone that I seen that did it right was this grand stay here in in, uh, in Madison in the East Madison. They have a beautiful outside presence. They also have really good looking rooms too, but their outside presence is just phenomenal. So. This looks, this looks really good, and this would probably be what I would go with if I was them as well. One thing that all of us are guilty of, not just this particular hotel or any hotel, is pictures. Um, you wanna have really good picture quality. Let me give you an example for like for here, this Extended Stay America. I wouldn't have, even though we know that ex everyone knows Extended Stay America, they're a pretty strong brand. Just the outside picture, I feel like that's not a good lead picture because if I'm a customer, I'm comparing this to this, the grand stay is gonna win every time just because they're gonna get me an outside presence. So for the extended stay hotel, I probably would have went with, um, with at least this particular case, I probably would have went something like on the inside with the room picture or maybe this lobby picture right here because the, you know, the lobby looks a lot better um, but definitely, definitely would have went with a with a room picture versus like this is a nice room. Like this should have been like the lead picture. The nicest picture when it comes to the property should always be your lead picture. So uh, extend this day. Unfortunately, that's probably one of the if they are losing revenue, that's probably one of the reasons why it's because they're just the outs. There's nothing there. You can't you can't disagree. There's nothing sexy about this building. Like. Compared to this, like when I look at the Grand Stay, it looks like a presidential, you know, it looks like the White House. And I look at this and it looks like um, the projects. So if I was extended to America, I'd probably get rid of this as the lead picture. Now, the, the next most important picture, of course, is going to be what? Breakfast. You always want to take a breakfast picture because people want to know, you know, if breakfast is included or even if it isn't included, you have a restaurant. They want to know what they're eating. They want to know what it looks like, so on and so forth. So I got a couple of good examples here. This is the Rose Inn. Just by the way, I never recommend using stock photos because they are so misleading and you don't want to mislead people when it comes to reservations. And these are not stock photos. But they're this like for the for the Rose Inn, this is this is what their food really looks like. <laughs> All right, this is what their, their food really looks like. This is this is the real deal. And of course, this is what the inside of their, their restaurant looks like. So you always want to take pictures of the restaurant. So one, it sells the restaurant, whether they're going to be eating inside or outside. And two, they want to know what the food looks like. So make sure that presentation is nice and crisp and steady. The next thing you're going to do is you want pictures of the lobby. The lobby, the lobby is always going to sell. Here's a nice picture of the, the Comfort Inn. This is a Comfort Inn over here. It's a, I think it's Lake Buena Vista. Nice lobby, nice color. Um, this way, when they get there, they know that they're in the right place. <laughs> when you walk through the door, they know they're in the right place. So like, okay, this lobby matches the picture, we're good to go. 
Now, the next thing you want to do is you want to take pictures of the pool area. If you're indoors and you want to market the pool area inside of your profile as well. So if you're, you're indoors, you're going to going to market, you know, all weather resistant. <laughs> it could be wintertime, summertime. Don't get rained on. Don't get snowed on. All right. You can take a you could go for some at any time. All weather proof. OK. And if it's up, if it's outdoor, you're going to um, market getting a tan. Go out, enjoy the sun, get a tan. I, I, I mean, me myself, I, I probably need a tan myself. I'm getting a little, little light over here. <laughs> so that's one of the things that you know you definitely want to, um, definitely want to market, is you got to have those pools. You have to have those pools pictures up there. And most importantly, a lot, a lot of uh, pet friendly hotels forget to do this. You want to let people know that you're pet friendly. If I'm not saying this shouldn't be the lead picture, but it should be in your pictures. You know, just a dog at the hotel, a cat at the hotel. I know a lot of people don't accept cats, but, you know, let people know that, hey, don't let them find out. People are visual. They don't want to read it in the profile. They want to see it. So if, you, if you're pet friendly, have a dog in front of the hotel, you know, a dog inside of the room, a dog going for a walk in front of the hotel to let the guests know. Now, let me... Let's go through some good ones and some bad ones. This is a Google review. This is a Google. We Googled the uh, Rosen Plaza Hotel. You can see here that this photo does not do this place any justice. I would have went with a, a better lead photo than this because this hotel is is really too nice to. Um, yeah, you see that? This, this is how nice the hotel is. This hotel is too nice to just be stuck with the lead photo like that. You know, you want something that's going to capture the guest's eye. And unfortunately, this right here just doesn't capture the guest's eye. Um, so that one, that's one that I probably would have stayed away from. Now, this one right here, uh, th these people did it right. I don't know how they was able to get all of this inside of this photo. But the, the Golf View Hotel, you have the ocean, you have the beach, and you have the hotel all in one shot great sell great sell um let's see this one this one right here i don't know what this is <laughs> don't laugh i know you guys are laughing like what in the hell yeah whatever you do don't do this one this hotel is nowhere near universal um this hotel is like maybe 25 30 minutes away from universal and so there will be closer hotels to universal that people will stay at versus trying to stay here um, I don't know why they did this. So something like that, there's there's no way that I would ever put that as the lead photo. Um, this is a this is actually a pretty good lead photo because you can able you're able to see the whole hotel. I probably I probably would would, would I would have went with a drone shot myself personally. You know that's just me, but you know that's that's not too bad. And. This is a terrible lead photo. Why is this like this? Please stop laughing. Uh, <laughs> I'm like, are they, uh, is someone sleeping on the couch? <laughs> All right, let's find out this why this is like this. This doesn't make any sense to me. I never really seen that in a hotel before. Up oh, there. Oh, that's why. That explains everything. Yeah, you never want to use like a couch or anything like that. You want to actually use the whole room or the front of the hotel that just makes no sense to me so you know those are some those are some profiles that of course need a little bit more work you know uh but just you always want to go with your your best see this see this guy right here i made magic magic key inside of the room i feel like this is a mitch match because you know you have this guy he has a review score as a 6.7 this guy review score 8.7 he has a lower rate they have the higher rate. Who you think is going to get the reservation? I don't know what these people are doing over here. <laughs> but uh, but yeah, yeah. Look at this. This guy has a, a 8.7. He's a he has a 49 dollar rate. This one has a 6 dollar rate. That's that's a loss. They're, they're not gonna they're not gonna complete any reservations off of that. But this is actually a better view. But nobody knows this whole nobody knows these hotels. But which is why the magic key did it right. They went with a, a picture of inside the room because nobody knows them. But they you take a picture, look at the inside of the room. You look at this picture right here, and then you look at a review score. 
and you're like, okay, yeah, the, even though I never heard of them, I'm going to give them a shot. They have a nice rate. The room looks beautiful. I'm going to do it. This is how a guest thinks. This is how, same thing here. Palazzo, amazing hotel. A beautiful, the reason why, this is, this hotel is popular in Las Vegas, but the reason why they went with the outside view is because this hotel is on the lake. It's an amazing shot. I, I feel like they still should have went with an inside um, a room, an inside room shot, but are a better outside shot where they can see, you know, more of the lake and the hotel. But this is still a good shot. It still looks good. It's, it, it's going to get me to click. It's going to get me to click through. And here, amazing, you know, pretty decent rescore of 8.5. Magic moment, 8.7. Inside, you see that? Inside a room. You know why? Because you never heard a magic moment. <laughs> all right, you never heard a magic moment. This one right here, I don't agree with at all. I, I feel like this hotel is um, it, it's a resort, but there's nothing about this that's going to make me click through. So. I probably went with a would, I probably would have went with an inside room shot. Nice breakfast area shot. Good sell. Very good sell. Yeah, the to me the what what they have posted, the, the inside looks better than you know whatever that was. This is a nice shot. I like that shot. You always want to use your best shots when you're when you're putting putting that up. And I feel like that's just that just doesn't do this place any justice. Nobody knows what that is. Um now, as far as photo quality, I've been seeing a lot of bad photos on places that I shouldn't see bad photos. I'm talking about places like Booking.com. I've been seeing terrible photos, um, very low quality um, on Booking.com. Now, it's oh, I get it. You know, nobody wants to spend two, three thousand dollars on a photographer to shoot their building. I understand, but even if you do decide to. Um, bring some there's a cheaper way i usually go to uh, like the best buy or a camera shop and they'll know somebody they'll know somebody that'll come and shoot your hotel for a couple hundred bucks and just you know get you um and the the most important part is getting the photos edited if you're going to shoot on your iphone or on your android phone or whatever the case may be that's cool all the work doesn't come from the shot itself most of the work comes from the effects that they do after they edit the photos like there's a bunch of editing that they do inside of the photos to bring out the lights the get rid of the shadows or increase the shadows the contrast all that other stuff that's done afterwards so if you if you you if you're gonna use a cell phone to shoot that's cool just get a good um photo editor that's used to editing real estate photos you can get them for like you know 50 50 to 100 bucks take all the shots i think i think the hundreds of thousands of dollars that you're gonna lose in bookings for having lower quality photos is worth the additional money that you're going to spend you know trying to get trying to get that um trying to just keep spending 50 bucks or 100 bucks or 200 bucks to get the pictures looking right because that's the first impression of your hotel that that you leave with the guests is the pictures if they see that you don't give a crap about the quality of the pictures that you're presenting they're just going to go with someone more professional unless your rate is dirt cheap and dirt low so right now we have something very special for you if you're a text guest customer or if you're going to if you want to be a text guest customer want to be a new sign up we're going to go ahead and say let's not put any money into the photos text guests want you to take put that money into your property and improve your big guest experience so we're going to take care of the photo shoot for you we're not talking about just regular photos we're talking about drone photos drone footage drone shots and room shots we take care of all of the the shooting and the editing for you so sign up for text guests go ahead and take advantage of what you can save yourself two three thousand dollars and let's make it happen you can sign up at txtguests.com and we'll go ahead and take care of that photo shoot for you at no additional cost to yourself now these are the things that you need to look out for and adapt to your particular situation so go ahead and give it a try let me know what you think and don't forget to like and subscribe thank you for tuning to another episode of hotel revenue magic and we'll be talking to you soon making your revenues rise up once again